Right, so straight back to Kane's after school, no loitering, yeah? Why do you just turn to what can we marry you through away, Kane? Well, probably because Danny would get a ladder and try and rescue you, wouldn't he? Look, I told you, me and Danny are over. Yesterday, when you saw us walking, I was telling you not to come back here again. Funny that, you failed to mention it to me. Don't believe me, then. Look, do you know why it hurts the way you always think the worst of me? Well, I'm just looking out for you, OK? I don't want your mum thinking I've taken my eye off the ball and you've gone all feral. Well, OK, well, if I'm that big of a problem, why don't you just sign me up for the army like you did Noah? <sighs> Sarah, I'm just as unhappy about that as you are. But you know what? Sometimes you've got to respect your children's wishes. Well, then respect mine and all. I have done nothing wrong. OK. I believe you. I'll get to school and I will be phoning Kane to check you've got home on time. Go on. Someone around here must know something. If they do, I'm sure they'll come forward. You and your faith in humanity. You were in the pub last night. Did you see anyone acting strangely, messing with my jacket? What are you accusing me of? Just asking a question, why are you getting so defensive? Look, I need to get to school. No, that, that's the same guilty look I saw on her face when the police carted me off. Oh, come on, son. Hang on. You're his dad. You know something, don't you? You need to find the insurance number. There's no way I'm paying for that Nick car out of my own pocket. Please, just tell me what you know. Why do you think I can help? Hang on a minute, mate. I'll call you back. Just keep looking, yeah? Problem, mate? I'm just looking for some answers. I don't know what we're talking about. How come you're still here? You again. What, are you know him? No, it's the bloke I was telling you about. Been arrested for possession. Yeah, thanks to her. I have done nothing wrong. Then how come you're looking so shifty? Please, just tell me what you know. Hey, steady on. Just asking her a question. Can you, can you take my side for once? Oh, hang on, it's your son. Well, I'll say about me a lot of things, but she doesn't do drugs. Then what about those lads she was with? They didn't look too innocent. What lads? And can you prove any of this? Not yet. Right, well, I suggest you back off then. Because for all we know, they are your drugs, and the only reason you're pointing the finger at someone else is because you don't want your dad knowing what you've been up to. I know my son, and he doesn't use drugs. Right, yeah, just enjoys terrorising young kids. You, home, now. Have you got a problem, mate? I don't know. Hopefully not. What was that all about? <sighs> it's complicated. Hardly. I'm being set up. This is my son, Ethan. Hi, welcome. Yeah, don't feel too welcomed. Someone around here has planted drugs on me. Really? Any idea who? I've got a pretty good idea, but I can't, I can't prove anything for certain yet. There's no way I'm letting the police pin this on me. They won't. They've got no evidence. So how come they haven't dropped the case? But why do you think? Maybe you could have a word on his behalf? How's she gonna help? I'm an ex-copper. I can have a word with my mate Mike, if you like, see if he knows anything. No, he'll just close ranks with the rest of them. Really, he's not like that. Look, I'd rather handle this myself. Well, thanks for the offer. OK, no problem. Well, you change your mind. This is a great start to your life around here. Don't worry about it. We'll both find a way to sort this out. I really miss you too. You better start telling me the truth right now. I already told you. You didn't tell me you and Danny met at the pub together. So come on. How many other times have you seen him since he's got out? No, I swear, he just turned up yesterday. And started selling drugs? Of course not. So then how come the new vicar's son is pointing the finger at you? I don't know, to try and get himself out of trouble, I suppose. He's a solicitor and knows how to cover up his tracks. No, 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 he wasn't acting like he was guilty, Sarah. You only get that angry when you're being wrongly accused. Why do you keep having a go at me? Because I'm trying to protect you! The question is, what am I protecting you from? And why is Charles's lad so convinced that you planted those drugs on him? I didn't. You need to stop lying to me now and tell me what happened. Or if you prefer, we can go straight down to the police station now and they can ask the questions. You wouldn't. Dingle code. Yeah, fair enough. But you know what? The Dingle code only exists to protect the guilty. So I will ask you one last time what are you guilty of? <laughs> 